Crafts, and I'm here at the Ralph Brennan Jazz Kitchen for a night with Chakwak. We've got some incredible food, some incredible connections, and we get to hear about an incredible cause. Check it out. So hopefully um, this uh, speaker doesn't act funny on us. So if it does, can you all hear me if I speak like that? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So should we do yay or nay? Let's try my first and then just Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so if it goes funny, we're going to go old school. So uh, good evening. My name is Zach Abrams, and I have the incredible pleasure and privilege to uh, work on the Chalk Walk in the Park presented by the Disneyland Resort. Um, this is going to be my 14th chalk walk in the park. And I know I say this every year, but every year really is amazing and special and unique. And I can't imagine anything else in the world that could be so much better than something like this with a place like Chalk Children's Hospital and the magic of the Disneyland Resort. Um, I'm just honored that you all joined us tonight on such a special day. Uh, we're celebrating the birthday of the Disneyland Resort Yay! here at Disney. 64 magical years and counting and growing. And um, we're celebrating the 29th annual Chalk Walk in the Park presented by the Disneyland Resort on August the 11th. So we are so grateful to have you all here. And we have a lot of great announcements, um, a lot that's coming up. So um, I know we have some new folks here in the room, and I want to thank you all for coming out. We have some new friends and old friends, and so some of you may know a little bit about the background of Chalk and Disney. So just to give you a little bit of history and why we came together. So way back in 19, well, this would have been 19, there we go, see it. <laughs> so, okay, old school. So in 1962, we knew that Orange County was growing, and we needed to have a children's hospital here in this growing, beautiful community so that we didn't have to drive all the way up to Los Angeles and have God forbids. So we went out to all the leaders in the community, Walt Disney being the most important one, and we said, we need help to build a children's hospital here in Orange County. And so he stepped up, and he worked with us, we raised a million dollars, and in 1964, we opened Chalk Children's Hospital in this region. So since then, uh, we now have over 400 beds. We are in Downey, in Pomona, in San Bernardino, in Riverside, in San Diego, um, in Mission Hospital. So Children's Hospital has grown to be a regional hospital for five counties that all feed in, including Los Angeles. So we are there for all the children that need us. Um, Disneyland has been part of that journey the entire way. I have some pictures of uh, chalk days at Disneyland when it was a dollar. And it was beautiful. It's all black and white and they're incredible pictures. So that history has just continued to grow and blossom and it's lasted all this time. We've always had a leader from the Disneyland Resort on our board of directors and we've always had a leader on our board of directors for our foundation. And so it's just been an honor and a privilege to work with this organization and to create the best, the most beautiful, the most incredible and magical walk on in the United States and in the world. So it, it's something that brings together people from literally all over the planet to come and walk with us. And so we get all kinds of special calls and requests and people that are coming in from all over. Um, tonight I met somebody that's going to be their first walk. I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of a background. Uh, I want to talk about something special too. So, um, you know, this is our 29th, and we're getting ready for the 30th, and... I think it's working for It's not. <laughs> and so, um, in preparation of that, I don't know if you heard, but about a year ago, um, all, not even a year ago, but Disney gave us a billion dollars. But this one's really different and unique. And so we got a phone call from our friends here, and they said, um, do you have somebody that can join a very special committee? And somebody who can be a team of heroes with us. And so we sent over our, our chief medical officer, um, Dr. Mignon, who's been at Chalk for 27 years. And um, they worked together in collaboration to come up with some incredible 
innovative, interactive ideas that can be implemented in children's hospitals all around the world. And they set aside $100 million to do this. Wow. So we're the first on the West Coast. I'm excited to say we're the very first on the West Coast. And um, that's going to happen hopefully in March-ish. And um, we're excited because we want to invite you in when that happens and show you the magic, the interaction, the love of bringing childhood inside of a children's hospital. So that goes back to why it's such a special relationship and why it's so important for us and why all of you are so important to us and your special friends and partners because you truly understand what's special about Disney and you understand what's special about Chalk. And so they're making magic and we're making miracles. And with all of you, we continue to share and spread the word. And this year, hopefully raise more money to help kids that really need it. So with that, I have some incredible, awesome announcements. But I want to introduce um, a really good friend of mine who I worked with a couple of chalk blocks ago. And um, it was just so exciting to see you and to see your face. So Alexa, is here at Downtown Disney District. As Zach said, my name is Alexa Garcia. I'm a former Disney ambassador here at the Disneyland Resort. Uh, and with that, I was telling him, we had the privilege during our term to actually do three chalk walks um, as ambassadors. Usually we only get to do two just based on the term, but we were really lucky we got to do three. So it is just an incredible, incredible event. I'm so happy you're all here to hear about it. Um, but first, uh, of course, we're here on a very special day. As Zach said, yeah. Disneyland's 64th anniversary. So, <laughs> one more plug because it was my very first attraction that I worked here, Splash Mountain, also turned 30 today. <laughs> lots of anniversaries, lots of celebrations. This is just such a great time to be here right now. And of course, we just opened our largest land expansion here at Disneyland Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Have you all had a chance to check that out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. A lot of Star Wars fans. I love it. We've also got a lot of really great things happening over in Disney California Adventure Park. Soarin' Over California came back. Did you all see that? Yeah. yeah. I'm from Camarillo, so that's kind of our claim to fame over there. <laughs> no one ever knows where it is. Um, but we say it's in Soarin' Over. Yeah. Um, we've also got a really great new show called Tale of the Lion King, and that's one of my all-time favorite. It is my all-time favorite Disney movie, so the fact that we're able to bring it to life in a fresh new way is so great over there. Uh, so, like I said, so many different things. That's just the tip of the iceberg of what we have here at the Disneyland Resort. So we hope that everyone comes and visits and checks everything out. Um, and these are just some of the ways that we're celebrating summer, but one of the other ways that we do that is by giving back to our community. And really, that's a year-long thing that we like to do. But of course, with Chalk Walk happening in August, it's a nice little bow to our summer and, and giving back. So with that, I want a show of hands. Who here is an annual pass holder? Perfect. All right. So I have a team that you all are going to join because the Disneyland Resort actually has an annual pass holder Chalk Walk team that you are able to join. So we collaborate with annual pass holders so you guys can come together, walk together, raise funds together uh, in support of Chalk. So that is definitely something that you're able to take a part of. I've got some really important numbers here and I didn't want to get them wrong for y'all. Um, so this year, of course, we have some incentives for you as well on top of this being such a great, um, important uh, uh, thing to, to be a part of, we have some incentives. So I'll tell you what those are, because they're really cool. Um, so they're all themed to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. <gasps> so first, participants who raise $150 or more will receive a special 2019 annual pass holder chalk walk pin. So you can see it right there. That's going to be a, a perfect addition to collectors out there. I don't know if any of you collect pins, but that's definitely one that you're going to want to get. $150 um, fundraised 
uh, donations will get you that. Uh, and then if you get the, the first 250, so the, now, it's, now it's a little bit of competition, the first 250 participants who raise $225 or more will receive a special 2019 annual passholder chalk walk cinch bag that you can see in the middle there that can hold your 2019 annual pass holder <laughs> chalk walk in the car pit. So, a lot of great things, and of course, the first 150 team members who raise at least $400 or more, of course you can raise more, uh, will receive a special AP Chalk Walk water bottle. That is cool. That's, that's one of those things I saw it on there, and I said, that, that's a really good water bottle. Um, so like I said, everything is themed to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Now there is a grand prize that is available for the annual pass holders. So the what the one who raises the most funds is a U.S. resident and at least 21 years of age. This <laughs> 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 prize will be a complimentary one night stay in a Disneyland Resort hotel. Plus, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Plus a seven hour VIP tour oh. of the Disneyland Resort oh. for the pass holder and three guests. Oh. Wow. Yes. So if any of you have ever seen the tour guides walking through and um, touring those families, uh, they do such a great job creating magic and making sure that your day is just planned uh, as best as possible so you're able to see everything. So seven hours, you can get a lot done in seven hours. Yes. <laughs> yes, you guys know. Um, so that's, again, for that annual pass holder up to three guests. If your guests do not have annual passes, a one-day Disneyland Park Hopper ticket will be provided to you guys. So that way, everyone that you want to, to bring for that, that trip will be able to come. Uh, so I encourage you all to, to register. All the guys, all, it's all those hands, so I hope to see you all out there. Uh, register for the Chalk Walk, raise those funds. Again, it's a great, great cause. Um, while I, I won't necessarily be on a stage this year, I will definitely be out there volunteering, so I hope to see all of you out there. And of course, everyone, all of your friends um, supporting the Chalk Walk and the prep this year. So I'm gonna pass it back off to Zach. And thank you all so much for being here today. So those are some pretty awesome prizes. And you know, in addition to those, we have more prizes as well. So you know, we have our park hoppers and we have other things that we're giving away too. So be sure to check the website. We're always updating it with extra things. So it's important. Um, in addition to that, I've got a couple of things just I want to update you about that we're working on for Chalk Walk. Um, we have the annual Taste of Downtown Disney that is coming back on September the 5th. And as you know, there are a lot of new things in, in Downtown Disney, so our Taste of Downtown Disney is growing. So this year is going to be fantastic. Um, I'm waiting for all the details, but I can give you a quick overview of what I know so far. So um, Ballast Point will have a special premiere experience. Um, I think we're going to have a premiere experience with Pop-Up Disney and I think Salt and Straw. And so hopefully we'll have a chocolate flavor, maybe. <laughs> um, something pretty cool. And um, we have our, well, who has ever done it, Tortilla Joe's has a tequila lounge. And so that is super famous and popular, so that's backed by popular demand. And then um, uh, our friends here at Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen last year came up with something that was so phenomenal. And so there is a special red room here at the Jazz Kitchen, and it's going to be a speakeasy. And so um, look for more details about that. And then our general admission includes um, six stops this year. So we'll go to all the restaurants. Um, you'll have a special experience, pairings, food, beers, spirits, wines, other drinks. So we're really excited about that. Um, in addition to that, we've launched some new tools to help with fundraising. Um, as all of you know, social media is, media is very powerful. So we've been working with our technology partners and with Facebook, and so we launched a new, new program called Facebook Fundraisers. So our folks can actually work from their Chalk Walk dashboard. It integrates within their Facebook page automatically and helps them fundraise. It makes it super easy. So we're excited about that. Um, we can't wait to see what Instagram does and some of our other friends. So we're always adding new things like that as well. A um, couple of other things. So we wanted to maybe get you all involved a little bit more. And we know you already do a lot. 
So we're looking at doing some contests, and um, anyone who creates a Facebook fundraiser will be entered to win two VIP tickets to the Taste of Downtown Disney. So um, we'll share more information about that and get that out to you and just uh, to make sure we get all your information and know that you're entered in that. And then let's see here. Oh, a contest. So who wants to be part of a contest? <laughs> so um, we're looking to work with you again and see if we can't give you some uh, chalk walk experiences that you could share with and, and promote on your channels. So it might be some tickets, a VIP experience, we have our VIP breakfast. So to create a little magic for all those folks that you connect with that love chalk and Disney so much. So we'll have some more information about that going out shortly as well. And then I think we're gonna just say any questions. Did everybody get their chalk tell? Yes. Did you see this year's chalk walk in the park? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So that's this year's pin. Jeff Granito designed the pin again this year. Um, he designed the t-shirt and the medallion. And so we uh, really enjoyed working with him and um, everything that he's done for us. Any questions about this year's chalk walk? Yes. So the Facebook fundraiser, is it just for us or for anyone? Who Anybody in the world. I mean, we literally launched it uh, three weeks ago. And I mean, I can't keep up. Um, we raised twenty thousand dollars in the first two weeks. Wow! Um, it's just, it's incredible because it just makes it so easy. So one thing that we've done with the system, we kind of do some canned messaging, and all that can be updated and changed as the person's preference. But it really just allows them to almost like set it and forget it, and they just pop it on there. It gets set up. It posts. Um, it can post automatically and it literally automatically updates into the person's chalk walk dashboard. So, which for us is incredible because then they can see in real time the funds that are raising, that they're raising. They can thank the individuals that are contributing and supporting uh, their cause, working, walking for chalk. Um, and it just makes that whole communication process so much better and in real time. So um, it allows us to thank them, to provide them with the receipt so that they know where the funds are going and how they're impacting their community. So it's just been a great tool and um, it's been fun working with uh, the company that we work with in Facebook to really activate something like this. So we know that um, hopefully something will be coming from Instagram as they continue to evolve in the space and work with charities all across the country. So we're excited to be one of the first in the area to launch one. And so um, getting ready for the 30th, we know it's going to be a really important tool. And so um, we're excited to do that. Any other questions, Tim? Yeah. Yes. Alva? Uh, Ella was super fluid kickoff. I don't know if you're interested Well, we do have a special guest. Yes. So um, as you know, um, we always have somebody really special who leads us through the walk. And so um, we meet a lot of families and children that have been patients at Chalk, and they're all incredible. Um, and sometimes we just, you know, we meet somebody who's just special. And um, we try not to have any rules. There's no application. Um, we don't believe that a child should ever have to compete for something like that. We just know that's our ambassador. So um, we have a very special ambassador family this year, and you'll get to meet that special person shortly. So, um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about her in just a few moments. And then, Jordan, did you have a question? Yes. Um, regarding the route this year, do you know if the Chalk Walk route will pass through Galaxy's Edge? So that's a really good question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, in all the 14 years that I have been involved with the Chalk Walk, We've never ever published our route. And um, I don't want to give you some insight, but um, I usually don't find out what the route is until like really, really, really close to the day. Um, so it's always a surprise. Um, the part that I love the most and I was sharing is that um, the amount of people that work on the chop walk on the Disney entertainment side and the planning side, the parking, it's, I don't even know how many in all the years that I've, I've worked on it. Um, I know that I get to go to an incredible meeting and they, they do this uh, a reveal. And all of the folks that work on this, um, they're always excited to tell us how happy they are and how much it means. And, and I know that it rotates and they volunteer to be part of this. 
So they actually plan and create this. So it really is a surprise to me. It's a surprise to all of our guests. So you never know what's going to be around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, for the annual passholder prizes, is that only in on the AP team, or just anyone who's an annual passholder or any? You have to be on annual pass holders. That's from what I understand. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You can't I'll be two teams at once. Like if I leave, so I guess you can register like twice. Okay. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I don't know anybody who's ever done that. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm one of those people. So yeah, I'm on a couple of teams. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, I think it's important uh, because I think you know walking is, is there's a certain identity when you're when you're on a team and you create a team and of course that that camaraderie that comes from that and so we never want to take anyone away from their team that this is a great way to engage annual pass holders um, like I said I'm a member of multiple teams um, it allows me to connect with those those people and those groups that I like so yeah they're extra prizes too which is awesome thank you yeah thank you any other questions. Yes. So the official name is Disneyland Annual Pass Holders. Is that what they The Disneyland Annual Pass Holder. Yes. With the S or without S? Pass Holders. Yes. I'll double check that it's Pass Holders. Okay. And I'm trying to think if there's anything I forgot. Good team fundraising. How's your team fundraising going? I'm in my toilet. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. <laughs> so, does anyone have any unique ways or things that they've done to fundraise that they'd like to share with everybody? I signed up for the um, Facebook, and that's where I got all my donations. It was easy. It was with a clip. I personalized my story and then just posted, and it was for me. Um, and I got all my donations from posting on Facebook. How many? Do you have? How much of you? One hundred fifty. And when did you just post? Um, like a week ago. Awesome. And a half ago. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> Any other things that people have done? Other people have raised money. Um, so the, not everyone can do this, but I will challenge my followers with a match. So I'll say if you donate $5, I'll match your $5. That is um, awesome. You know, up to a certain amount on a certain day. So there's a limit. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. But like, I know I'm going to donate the money anyway, so I'll just say, like, I'll, if you donate $5 today, I'll match it. That is awesome. So, fundraising is something that um, I'm always amazed at what people do. And I think the easiest way to fundraise is to do something that's natural and normal for you and for your group. And sometimes the simplest things, the easiest things, have the greatest impact. And I think what's most important for people is that they know, one, where those funds are going and how they're being used. Um, and what they do to help and how they're giving back. Um, I think the other part that's important that they feel part of it in some way, and of course that they're recognized and thanked. Um, but truly, truly, um, the sky is the limit. Um, in 14 years, there's always something new, and I'm always surprised by the passion, the creativity, and the love that everybody puts into fundraising. So without any more ado, I think we have a couple of things. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So we have the pin and um, we have the medallion. So this is this year's medallion. And so we have something uh, special for you later. So make sure uh, before you leave, and hopefully you'll stay and join us for all the fireworks and dessert. Uh, but there will be something. We have a little special bag for everybody. And inside, you're going to get a medallion. So um, we're asking. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. It's a gorgeous poisoned pin, all the colors. Um, I don't know if everybody knows Ashley. She's been shy. Um, Here, I'll show, you, I'll show you guys if you haven't seen. This is the medallion. Oh, pretty. It's awesome. Yeah. So she works all year with um, Jeff Gardino and. Uh, they go back and forth quite a bit, and um, they work on just something creative and different. And I, I'm just in love with the medallion, and I think it's the best we've ever had, and they just keep getting better or something. And so this is what we're asking everyone to raise to reach those, those levels. So this year it's 225 for the Chalk Walk in the Park uh, pen, and it's 350 for this year's Chalk Walk in the Park medallion. So we're super excited about that. And then... Um, 
wow, we're not even finished with this year, but you know that next year, <laughs> we love those big years. So I, I, I hear it's the 65th anniversary of the Disneyland Resort, and it's our 30th anniversary of the Chalk Walk in the Park. So, um, we didn't plan that, it just worked out that way. So um, we're really excited, and uh, we're already working on that and trying to come up with great new ideas and things that we can do. Uh, we hope to have some announcements about the date and the and time of the year, so that's coming soon as well. Um, we're working on a lot of things in the background. Um, we're excited to have our friends from KTLA, who've been partners with us, and Henry DiCarlo, who's coming back again this year. So um, we're hopeful that they're gonna be broadcasting again this year, and so keep an eye out for that. And um, maybe some other things, but... I think, I think, I think we have a special friend. So, um, and all the time that I've worked on the Chalk Walk, um, you know, we've always had our friends from, from Disneyland come and visit. And on such a special day, um, special night. Uh, we can't wait to see you on August the 11th for the most incredible magic day. And we hope that you'll stay and take some photos with Ella and her family and Chaco and uh, share all of this with all your friends. Thank you for keeping magic alive. Thank you for helping children and giving them hope and giving families hope and, um, and walking with Ella and her beautiful family on August the 11th. Enjoy everybody. special presentation about the Chalk Walk. If you'd like to join our team, make sure to go to chalkwalk.org slash dapsmagic. We'd love to have you. We'd love to walk with you. We'd love to make a difference with you. We look forward to seeing you in the parks. Make it a great week, everybody.